If you're following Johnny Depp and you know about his defamation case and Amber and things like that, you might know recently there's more activity around it because of this Vice TV show, Nine Lives of Johnny Depp, coming out. Well, it's actually an episode in their series, but whatever. It doesn't matter if it's an episode or a series or whatever. The thing is, they're saying this silly stuff that's pretty wrong, which that umbrella guy here points out. So first, let's look at the clip. Due to copyrights, I'll actually have to read it, but that's okay, it's kind of short. Nobody came out of that looking, you know, squeaky and clean. They always like to do this. It's nobody who was at fault. Nobody. Everyone was bad. But the difference is, which isn't a difference, and we'll see that, one person is a woman in her 20s with really no institutional power behind her, which is about as false as it gets, which we'll see. And the other is an icon who has not only the money, yes, Johnny has money, not only the influence of the industry, whatever that means, because the industry was against him, so I don't get that at all, but the goodwill of, this guy here probably uses Gillette. Okay, as I was saying, goodwill of two or three generations of people to pick up torches on his behalf. All right, let's just uh, take the clown off the screen. So what that umbrella guy says is, wait a minute, look who Amber had behind her. The ACLU, the richest man in the world, Warner Bros, basically, and she was an Aquaman, the Washington Post, MSM, the Me Too movement, Hollywood, like most of them, and Disney, but no power. So Amber pretty much actually had all the institutional power. Those are all institutions. Yes, Johnny had money. Yes, Johnny's got a big fan base, but he was pretty much independent in it all against everybody with the help of his fans. That's true. But he deserved it because he was right. And his fans are, well, they're pretty cool. I know some of them. I'm actually one of them. So I know for a fact they're pretty cool. All right. Let's see what some people are saying. As you could have guessed, a lot of people pitched in on this. And by the way, that's the kind of dumpster fire stuff you'll see in that Vice documentary. The Manson Cases says, What nonsense Amber Heard had the backing of the media even during the trial. You get a heart. Beatrix Kittle says, about his so-called loyal fan base who support him unconditionally, according to Elaine Bremerhoff. Brennanhoff, Bremerhoff. I can't say it, I just make fun of it. I'll be 100% honest, if the trial testimonies and the evidence had convinced me she didn't lie about the accusations, I would have thrown my back on him and walked away. You get a heart, that's how we all feel. But what happened? Well, she presented no evidence and did not look genuine on the stand. We've got this. I must note, it is faked. It tricked me for a little while, but I would imagine that these two would get along, but I digress. Pretty sad argument for those women and men who have literally zero resources. And Rab C says, basically, the industry turns its back on Johnny, which is what happened. And Kevin says, it's not the best angle. It's not going to get sympathy, basically. But unfortunately, uh, it won't get the majority sympathy, but it will get some people, people just watching it, consuming, getting in line. They'll be like, yeah, good argument, because people don't think out everything. So it will change some minds, and it will influence some people. But as we know, the awake thinking people are not going to be fooled. And as you can see, there are quite a few comments here under this thread. So good job, Tug, and well said. Well said on this one. Anyway, if you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad about it, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.